small group contemporary, age nine. Welcome at 716, letter to the playground bully. A letter to the playground bully from Andrea, age eight and a half. Maybe there are cartwheels in your mouth. Maybe your words will grow up to be gymnasts. Maybe you have been kicking people with them by accident. I know some people get a whole lot of rocking in the rocking chair, and the ones who don't sometimes get rocks in their voice boxes become slingshots. Maybe you think my heart looks like a baby squirrel. But guess what? You absolutely miss when you tell the class I have head lice, because guess what? I 100% absolutely do not have lice, and even if I do, it is a fact that head lice prefer clean heads over dirty ones, so I am clean as a whistle on a teapot. My mother says it is totally fine if I blow off steam. As long as I speak in an octave, my kindness can still reach. My kindness knows mermaids never ever miss their legs in the water because there were better ways to move through an ocean than kicking. So guess what? If I ever have my own team, I am picking everyone first. Even the worst kid and the kid with the stutter like the skipping record, because I know all of us are scratched. Even if you cannot hear it when we speak, my mother says some people have heartbeats that are knocking on doors that will never ever open. And I know my heart is a broken freezer chest. That's why I can't keep anything frozen. So no, I am not always crying. I am just thawing outside the lines. And even if I am always crying, it is a fact that salt is the only reason everything floats so good in the Dead Sea and just because no one ever passes notes to me doesn't mean I am not super duper. In fact, my super duper might be a buoy or a paper boat the next time your nose is stuck up the river because it is a fact that our hearts stop for a millisecond every time we sneeze and some people's houses have too much dust. And it is a fact that Egyptians slept on pillows made of stone. But it's not hard for me to dream that maybe one day you'll write me back. Like the dad wrote the lightning bug to say, I smashed my mason jar and I threw away the lid. I didn't want to take a chance that I'd grow up to be a war. I want to be a belly dance or an accordion or a pogo stick or the fingerprints the mason leaves and the mortar between the bricks to prove that he was here, that he built a roof over someone's head to keep the storm from their fate. My mother says that's why we all were born. And I think she's right. So write back soon. Sincerely yours. 